We've been hearing of some issues with Google Classroom lately, where students are going into an assignment, clicking on a PDF, then clicking on the edit pencil to try to edit on their iPad and the screen going blank. So first of all, thanks to Denise Powers and Beth Johnson for bringing that issue to our attention. And Jeff and I think we have a workaround for you while Google works on their app because it is a Google Classroom problem. This has happened since the last app update, and uh, we hope that they're working on it to fix that soon. Until then, if uh, I'm going to give you kind of a workaround, or give your kids kind of a workaround, so that they can still mark up and attach something to your assignment so they can show you your work, their work. I'm going to start down here with Classwork and go into an, um, an assignment that has a PDF attached to it. So I'm going to go to my work. Here's the... Uh, PDF and when I click on the PDF it shows up the problem is when we click on when kids are clicking on the edit pencil the screen is going black they're getting the edit tools but they're not able to um, they're not able to see the document to be able to edit it so instead our workaround is to tap on the screen to get rid of this top menu and then take a screenshot of the uh, of the PDF so take a screenshot. If you didn't know, you click on the power button and the home button that's in the middle of the screen at the same time. And you'll get the sc uh, that little screenshot icon or a thumbnail, and then the screenshot goes to photos. So now if I open photos, here's that screenshot. If I choose edit and then click on these three dots, I get the option to do markup. So markup gives me all the Apple edit tools down here to be able to edit that screenshot, that, that uh, photo. So obviously the War of 1812 was in 1900. So this is my answer to hand in to Mr. Kresge. And then in the upper right hand side, I'm gonna click done. And then done one more time. Because then I get that share button. And in the share button, what I do is uh, I'll choose to click on that and then down here I can scroll across until I see Google Classroom. So we'll notice that it's not on the right assignment or right I'm sorry the right class for me. So if I click that right arrow I'm going to scroll until I find that correct class. It should be part of more classes. Good. So I want to attach it to an assignment and then here's the names of the two assignments. I want to attach it to this assignment. Up it goes. And then there it is. So now I want to make sure that that uh, happened correctly. Uh, that closed off by itself. So if I open up Google Classroom, make my way back, and then refresh the page just by dragging down. If I open up my work, yep, there's that. Um, there's the edited PDF, or I'm sorry, edited screenshot. I bring that up. Yep, it worked just fine because my edits were there, and now I can click Turn In. So though that seemed like a lot of steps, it's not. Uh, really what you're doing is just opening the PDF, taking a screenshot of it, opening that uh, screenshot in photos, editing it, and then just attaching it to the Google Classroom assignment. It's a few extra steps for your kids, but just show them this video and they should be get, able to get it really quickly. Okay, good luck. Thanks.